Welcome back to another episode of Tagum's Tip of the Week. This week, since we're starting off turkey season already in some states, we would love to show you guys uh, one of our favorite ways or our favorite way that we enjoy wild turkey breast. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be chunking up our turkey breast into about one inch chunks. So we just put them in a Ziploc bag here, super easy. Um, then we're gonna be adding a few simple ingredients to our way. You can add any marinade that you would like. We really enjoy this. This is a little ginger. I don't have any, um, I don't have any fresh ginger in the refrigerator right now, so we're just gonna use dry, which is fine. It's probably about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons um, of ginger. We're gonna add um, a couple fresh cloves of garlic. And then next we're gonna just add, I don't have a measurement for this. We've never really measured it. We're just gonna add some soy sauce, maybe about a half a cup or so. I just, I like to let it wet all of the turkey cubes in there. And we're also gonna add some maple syrup. You can add brown sugar as well. Um, probably a half a cup of that as well. Um, and we're just going to then let this marinate. You can let it marinate for um, a couple hours in the refrigerator up to overnight. And like I said, you can use any marinade you want. This is just a simple, easy one. Most people have these ingredients at home. Um, we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator um, for a couple hours or overnight, and then we'll be back to show you the rest of the process. Okay, so we just took our turkey bites um, out of the refrigerator and out of the marinade and we cut our bacon into thirds. It's just a pound of bacon that we cut into thirds. And um, we've done a lot of these already. We're just going to um, show you the process of just wrapping the bacon. You're just gonna take your little turkey bite and you're gonna wrap it up. Um, and you're just gonna put them on the skewers. I'm gonna put a link in the description below about the um, grill art um, skewers that we have. Another option that you can do is um, you can wet toothpicks or kebab sticks and um, either work great. These are just a really nice option if you have, um, if you grill a lot and honestly, these turkey bites are amazing and they're worth getting the kebab sticks. One wild turkey breast will give you about 10 skewers that have about eight to 10 um, little turkey bites on each one. So I just wanted to give you a rough estimate of about how many um, turkey bites you're gonna be able to get. So we just have one more here to put on and then we're gonna be going out to the grill and Scott is gonna be putting these on the grill for us. Well, the turkey bites are on. We here like to use charcoal. So as far as the grill temperature, um, I usually like to get it pretty hot in the beginning just to get a good sear on that bacon. I don't like flubby bacon and soft bacon, so get a good crisp on it. And then once the bacon's basically crisp, those little turkey bites inside that wrapped bacon will be pretty much done. But you don't want to overcook them, um, otherwise it'd get really dry. So we'll go ahead and check and see where they're at. Probably need to be flipped. So we do have a good sear on that first side there. Sit. Beg. Beg. Oh, good girl. All right, just about the time they're just about done is uh, when I like to fire the grill back up, get it real hot so you get a real good sear on that bacon. So you have a crispy bacon on the outside and a nice tender turkey bite on the inside. They're just about done. I'm just going to crisp them up just a little more. These 
grill art um, stainless steel skewers are awesome. All you have to do is just squeeze this little um, metal piece together and they slide right off the skewer. And that is our tip of the week. And until next time, scout them, hunt them, tag them, eat them.